Hello guys, today I'm answering an email from one of you guys, or in fact I answered privately but also decided to make a public video out of that, a short video discussing an exact situation. So I was asked to refactor this code and it's not really seen well, so I've pasted it into carbon.now.sh and this is the code. So it's probably a controller with repeating if statements and how to make it shorter. Beside the fact that I don't know why the person is doing echo in the controller and then exit, because it's kind of pointless because you would probably get that variable and pass it to the view, to the blade somewhere, or maybe return as API. So echo and exit is kind of pointless, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is if request this, then we use one model like coupon, Otherwise, we use another model. Otherwise, we use another model. So how to avoid that if else and make it shorter? And I will show you two ways. One will be with switch operator in PHP. Another one will be with match operator, which came in PHP 8. And also, I will show you how to parse dynamic models and how to catch errors if something goes wrong. So I've recreated a similar scenario, not the exact same one, but I've created a list controller with two types. So there is a user model and a project model, and depending on the request type, in the get request in the URL, I load one or another. And I've seeded some data and here's the result. So list with type of users and this returns users, otherwise it returns projects. And how to make it shorter. Of course, first we can change the if to switch. So for example, switch request type and then case for every value. So case of users we would define the model. The model variable will be user, otherwise it will be project. So in case of projects, model will be project, and then we would be able to have records, for example, model as a variable, then all, since all of them use all statement, and then echo records and exit. Again, it's quite pointless to echo and exit, but I will just follow the original code with the same logic. Now, what is the model value? In this case, the model should be full path to the model, which is app backslash backslash. So one backslash is general backslash and another one is to escape that. So app models user like this. And similarly, in this case, we will have project app models project. And of course, with every case, we have to have a break. We could probably have a default statement, but in the original code, there was no default statement. So I don't know what should happen if the request gift type is not one of the four mentioned ones. So again, let's leave the logic as it was originally and let's try it out. So if we refresh list with type projects, nothing changes. It still works. Type users still works. So we made it shorter with the switch. So instead of if statement, we have those two cases in the switch. So that's already shorter. Now, what if that model doesn't exist? For example, someone made a typo and put in users here. This is an interesting scenario, which I want to talk about. So if we put users, it will be an error of app models users not found. But interesting part is that you cannot catch that with try catch exception. So if you try to do try and then records and then catch general exception of PHP exception, for example, echo error or something that would not work. So refresh and the error doesn't appear because it's not an exception. It's a PHP error of class not found. I have a separate video about errors and exceptions and I will link that in the description below, but generally it's not an exception. It's an error in PHP. So that would be the correct try cache statement in this case. And now if we refresh, we have an error. Actually it's hidden. So let's do die dump error like this. So we have an error here. It's caught, but not as an exception. It's an error. So there is a difference. But now if we go back to the switch case, we can make it even shorter with PHP 8 match operator. And the best way to follow new syntax for PHP 8 or recent PHP 8.1, it's Stitcher IO blog. It's not even PHP documentation that I would recommend. I recommend Brand's blog on this topic. He has a lot of articles on PHP 8 syntax and one of them is match or switch, which puts everything in perspective, one versus another directly. So here's the switch statement and here's the match statement. So we can change the switch here into model equals match of request type and then 
array array of users would be app models user let's fix the typo of users and then projects project like this and then we can remove or for now comment out the switch and let's try it out type users no error it still works type projects no error still works so match is even shorter than switch so you don't need break statements you don't need the case and it's even more readable so i do recommend to use match from php 8 if you want more tips and free short videos like this one totally subscribe to the channel because i'm still putting daily videos and my goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers so you can help me with that by subscribing and telling your friends to subscribe and see you guys in other videos